Hi, this is a walkthrough of the analytics models available in the Moodle LMS version 4.0. I am hosting the LMS on a virtual machine for this demo. Here in the Site Administration Analytics panel, we have five pre-built analytics models. Let's start with a simple model that generates reminders to students for the upcoming activities due. And for this instance, I'm using the upcoming week as the analysis interval. We can also view the indicators used by the model, which is the due date of an activity. This is a pre-built model that doesn't require any training, so we can just execute the schedule analysis. As administrator, we can view the generated insight, indicating three students who have at least one activity due in the coming week, and they would have received a reminder from our model. We can look into one of the students and send a message to him if we want to. It doesn't say which activity is due on this page, but the students should have this information in their reminders. Now let's log in as a student. Under notifications, I should find a reminder, specifying which course the reminder is referring to and a link to the activity due. Here I have an option to provide feedback to the analytics model, whether the prediction was accurate or helpful. Let's click yes for now. Going back to the administrator's view, I can see the inside report detailing how many students acted on the reminder. Here we have one student actually clicked on the go to activity link and one student said the model was useful. Such information is very helpful for us to track the impact or effectiveness of our models as well as making further improvements based on the feedback. The next model we're going to look at is the courses at risk of not starting, identifying courses that are due to start in the coming week but are not ready yet. Looking at the indicators, the model appears to flag any course with no student enrollment or no teacher user assigned. Again, this model doesn't need any training, so we can execute the schedule analysis right away. We can see the analytics results or predictions showing the courses considered as at risk. Clicking the participation list, we can see no teacher assigned to the course yet. At this point, we can provide feedback to the model whether the prediction were acceptable, not applicable, or incorrect. We can view the feedback summary of the model. The next two models are quite similar. One predicts students who have never accessed a course that they enroll to, and the other identifies students who have not accessed the course recently. They both use the same indicator, but run on different analysis intervals. We can view the prediction details, including indicators values and any data related to the students. Finally, the most interesting model is the students at risk of dropping out. It uses a large number of indicators that we can add or remove from the list. We first need to train or evaluate the model. Depending on the analysis interval and how much data available in your log system and its quality, the model performance may vary significantly. So you might want to retrain the model multiple times until you can achieve a decent performance with over 70% of accuracy. Now we can run the model to generate predictions. So for this course, we found three students running the risk of dropping out. Taking a closer look, we can find the indicator's values as well as the detailed log data. Again, you can also give feedback to the model for future improvement.